Hello, my students, my colleagues all over the world. Good morning and good evening, everywhere. And today is going to be lecture number eight on earned value management. We will talk about important topics in the key performance indices. And this is Alex El Hindawi in California, USA. And also, you will find all these courses in our channel in YouTube, Learn Project Management channel. We're gonna improve our courses from time to time, adding more important topics, sharing with you guys, and we'll add a template, we'll add a case study for you to practice uh, and uh, enjoy from our courses. Earned value, what is earned value? Because this really in market, I found many courses that cost thousands of dollars in earned value, and we're gonna do the earned value in a very easy way, and also we'll apply it to Primavera so that you can go and apply that and again export it to Excel or you can get all these key performance indices uh, from P6 in the advanced levels and earned value is a management technique that measuring performance and also progress versus what? versus the performance measurement baseline which is the scope and the schedule and cost so the earned value management is a project management technique that measure the performance and the progress against the reference which is going to be your baseline okay earned value okay is the value of work completed out of the approved budget assigned to the work if you do this in primavera or anywhere you have to multiply the performance by the budget for an activity or work breakdown structures if you have any question guys you can send me and i will help you to understand this important topic in a very easy way okay we start with the plan the value anything you plan that's mean coming from the baseline okay so the budget assigned to the work to be completed for an activity or a work breakdown structures from your plan from your reference of measurement which is a slide okay so i hope this is clear actual cost the actual cost is spent and recorded for a completed work performed for an activity or a work breakdown structures so this is coming from your updates from your actual schedules how much you have spent paid or given to subcontractors the material whatever you have this is your actual cost schedule variance is v okay is a measure measure what measure between the value of work performed and the value of work planned okay so scv equal the difference between earned value minus planned value so all the variances when you're gonna go and do the calculation you're gonna start with earn it and then minus whatever you have actuals or plan okay so the scv equal uh, EV minus PV. If it is negative, it means behind the schedule. If it is positive, means ahead of the schedule. Positive means what? Positive means what you have earned, what you have got, is more than what you have planned. So that means you are ahead of the schedule. Okay? Cost variance is the measure between the value of work performance and the actual cost. And we said that the CV equal you're gonna start with the ev with the earned value minus actual cost negative is uh, means is over budget means uh, negative means what your actual cost the actual expenditures is more than what you have planned positive means you are under budget performance indices is an efficiency indicator for the schedule Many people, the high-level uh, uh, people, like the chairman, they only looking for the high-level report, like high-level summary report, and they look only for the uh, key performance indices. They are not going to check the WAS or the activity or the details, which is going to be left to the project manager and the project team. Okay, so schedule performance indices. SPI, okay, we said we're gonna start with EV. Don't uh, memorize anything. We're gonna tell you how to uh, do all this calculation even you are, if you are going for PMP or whatever, you're gonna have it in your mind without any memorization. It's very easy. So it is 
earn it over plan and uh, if it's more than one means you are ahead okay what you earn it is more than what you have planned performance indices is an efficiency indicator for the schedule okay and cb means cost so anything has c means cost the cb is equal earned over actuals and we said here uh, uh, if you are less than one or more than one you're going to be behind or you're going to be under or over budget earned value management estimate at completion eac okay estimate at completion you know when you do the baseline you have a budget and when you go and do the report you're gonna have estimate at complete because the budget is gonna be different there's many ways to do the calculation for this uh, uh, EAC like you have budget at completion BEC divided by the CPI or actual cost plus the estimate to complete ETC or the other function here and we'll do this in a practical way in Primavera and also we have some spreadsheet Excel that gonna help you guys understand it uh, very well estimate to complete estimate to complete the cost required to finish all the remaining work how much work left from your project okay this is what we call estimate to complete and it is equal EAC estimate at complete minus actual cost all the other three functions here and also we'll do it in excel and it will show you how the program primavera get you this directly without memorizing all this function here's a simple curve show you guys how you summarize all the all the key performance indices in one chart and you know the status of your project if you are behind or if you are uh, over budget or behind or under budget ahead of the schedule or behind the schedule so you can see now the first curve here it's called the actuals actual cost and you have the data date the date that you have recorded your progress okay so you have here the blue one actual cost the second one is the baseline which is pv anything the plan come from the baseline and gonna end with bec budget at completion so the Budget accumulation is coming from the baseline. Don't forget that. And they have the actual cost here, and the forecast is estimate at complete. Okay. And the last one is the earned value, which is EV. Okay. And I made here this little graphics, which is good. You can see now SCV is equal the difference between EV and PV, and you have the CV here, guys, equal the difference between the actual and earned value. It is very easy and you can just uh, keep this in your mind and you're going to be easy to understand it and we'll go and start soon the advanced level in Primavera and earn the value around 6 lecture in earned value and around 6 to 12 lecture in Primavera with many functions and make it easy import and export. I hope you like the course and see you guys in the next lectures. Have a great day and see you all my students. Bye bye.